The month of April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, highlighting the severity of abuse in our community. It's also time to discuss prevention methods. As News 13's Kimmer Collins tells us, one group is joining law enforcement to help give panhandle victims their best chance for justice. It looked like casual Friday around the Walton County Sheriff's Office for the International Wear Denim Day in support of Sexual Assault Awareness Month. The Gulf Coast Sexual Assault Program signed a proclamation with the Walton County Sheriff's Office to signify a group effort to prevent and educate the public on sexual assault. We are agreeing um, to uh, fight the battle in Walton County against, against sexual violence. Like child abuse awareness, sexual assault awareness is huge and making sure that the public is aware that it is a thing and that we're doing everything we can to not only prevent it, but if we have those cases that we work them in coordination with uh, the other resources that we have in the community. According to the statistics, 53% of women will experience sexual assault in their lifetime and it's been reported 29% for men. The groups here in Walton County are joining together to make sure victims have a voice and they know where to go for help. It is real, it is happening. We just may not be getting the calls for it. So if you if you or somebody you know think that you can, you know, benefit from our, our resources, then give us a call. The Gulf Coast program offers a 24 hour hotline for sexual assault victims to get help and resources. That number is 866-944-1222. They also provide free training to local businesses like hotels and restaurants on what to watch out for. We work with law enforcement with the criminal justice process. We also have trauma therapy, free trauma therapy um, for victims. Um, we have, uh, we're hopefully going to be getting some equine therapy soon. The sheriff's office said the best thing to do is educate yourselves on the signs of abuse and report anything that looks suspicious. If you feel as though you've been victimized, you are. Again, call us. We're here to be your voice. We're here for, to help you and to make sure that you get the resources that you need and that you deserve. In Walton County, Kimber Collins, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Okaloosa County Sheriff Eric Aiden also signed the proclamation today. To learn more about the program, you can go to our website, mypanhandle.com.